Imagine the immense violation you must feel as a patient having to walk or drive by the onslaught of protesters who are protesting your most basic right of bodily autonomy. On top of that, women are already dealing with shame for having an abortion, and protesters remind them of this when they come to our clinic. Women in Alberta should not have to be subjected to privacy violations, harassment, and shame tactics on a daily basis because they are choosing to enact their bodily autonomy and have an abortion. It is no one's business but the woman and her doctor. My name is Jennifer Brard. I am the administrative assistant here at Kensington Clinic. There are two really big protests throughout the year called the 40 Days for Life protest. Um, and it's currently going on right now. So we have seen a pretty big increase of protesters. Um, so sometimes when I come to work, I'll come pretty early. So if it's in the winter months, it'll be pitch black outside. And as I'm driving up, I will see sometimes one, two, maybe three or four protesters across the street with or without signs. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's intimidating. And especially for the patients as well, I really feel for them. But safety is a really big issue for the staff here and the doctors especially. Um, they keep their last name different from their children and some even have bulletproof vests because as you know there have been murders of abortion providers so definitely yes there is a really big impact with the protesters and the safety of, of, this, of the staff and the physicians in particular. I feel that women should not have to face any privacy violations. They're accessing legal services and they have every right to make this choice, you know? And it's not up to anyone to make them feel guilty or shame them. I just felt so strongly that I had to say something, um, that I could not sit by and just be complacent in this because I feel so angry, first of all, and frustrated that this is still happening and sad for the patients that I see every day who are so, you know, already in a tough situation. Um, that I, I just felt I couldn't just sit by and continue to do nothing. So I'm urging uh, them to implement a bubble zone legislation. The new bubble legislation would help um, this because protesters would be fined for breaking the law. We have seen protesters with their, with their cell phone cameras or just like holding cameras across the street, definitely. So. That would be really good if the if the legislation did um, enact like a ban on on filming or or taking photos. I feel very strongly about women's rights in general and about um, abortion services um, and women's health. So I feel like you know I'm making a difference every day in women's lives coming to work, um, which is really profound. Um, and important um, and you know I really hope that my voice does help women um, throughout Alberta to not have to face the harassment of the protesters.